You can walk in the world's largest arcade because of his vision and his determination, the staff he put together, the organization he has. Like I said, he's rather confident. So I say, I say we do something different. Really loud. Really loud. Give me a D! D! evicted a tenant, but he did. But anything I would tell you about him would minimize the value and what he put to the industry. Just to show you, he tends to wear black so I wore white. It worked out good. But what I'd like him to do, in all sincerity, the reason why we go around, we give these awards, we do these cards, is every single person literally has contributed something. Whether it was a game that was made in the 80s, whether it was an arcade that ran, whether it was a contest, whether it's somebody who helps keep the vision of classic gaming alive. Every single person is part of a fabric. Any one strand is not important. Collectively, every one is important, and it creates a picture we know. So that's why we like to do these things. Walter gave you the award, but the gift that I give to you, and I give to every other guest here, it says, in recognition of your tremendous contribution to the global gaming culture, it is my honor to present you with this on behalf of gamers worldwide. So, that's my gift to you, sir. And each and every guest who's here, everybody that Walter honored, they have it as well. Doc's got his own mouth pads. And y'all's got her own mouth pads. But if I could pick on you for a second, the people that you've put together that have helped make things successful. Uh, Pete's supposed to be here. Uh, different people I thought would be here that travel with him. Oh, he is. Sorry. <laughs> when you go to Galloping Ghost, you see the fabric of everything that happens. I'm picking on him a little. He couldn't make it happen without these guys. Not as successful as he did, as he does. Uh, probably none of us could do it without him. But I guess appreciating the people that support you so much, just like I appreciate everybody that comes here to stand. I'm wondering if you would talk for a moment about the support network you have, the staff, what it made it possible and how it makes it that much easier for you to do that which, as you say, you're blessed to do. It's, first off, thank you so much for this great honor. Thank you, Walter. Thank you, everybody who did, made all of this uh, come to be, and everybody that traveled out for this show. Uh, as Billy was saying, this... I did. Uh, that, he got an award, but he lost it, so... <laughs> Thank you. This is, this is fun, and I get to do the Monday Mystery Game. I get to be out in front. Uh, but everything that happens, it, it is all due to so many of the people behind the scenes. This is 
has never been a one-man show and could not run like it does without all the people that have helped make it what it is. And it's, it's been a long road. Uh, with the uh, production companies opening in 94, uh, guys like G.J. Jeremiah uh, coming along, uh, when the arcade opened, it was a tremendous amount of work. Chris Lutri and quickly after Pete Hahn and every single person that I am honored to work with every single day. It just would not be what it is without that. Uh, so it is something that we always ask. It's like, if you're going to the arcade, whoever's there, whoever's working, they're such a huge part of making all of this work and, and making a place for everybody that's able to come out and enjoy all these classic arcade games. Like, it couldn't happen without any single one of these people. And it's uh, down from uh, Doug Fox, Mass Tech Doug Fox, Mass Tech Ken Walker, all of our new guys. It's, it's a tremendous effort. So, uh, and we hear it. We hear guys like Waffles getting uh, appreciated. And that's what's so important. It's, it's far from one person making this all work. And those guys have to be appreciated as well. I have to also give a huge thanks to Danielle. She puts up with so much stuff and 120 hour work weeks and it, it would not be what it is without her and, and everybody else. Guys like, and it's a long list. Like Pete Hahn, such a tremendous key to the link to the community who makes everybody feel welcome at the arcade. And it's it's great to get to work with so many talented, amazing people. So I just thank you from all the people who come out to the arcade, down to the industry people, as like Tim Kitzrow and uh, Paul Niemeyer, like all such huge elements in sharing their stories, making everybody get that behind the scenes part of the story of the arcade community. And of course, players that have been around setting scores, it's, it's all part of it, so yeah, I, I just thank you everybody for allowing me to do what I do and hopefully everybody continues to enjoy it as we creep up to a thousand machines at the Galloping Ghost Arcade. I did not see one bit on incorrect news. Initially, Pete was going to receive the award for 875 games on behalf of Galloping Ghost. But then I was told, or we were told, that he wasn't here. Because he was going to come up for the first award, and you didn't come up. So I was going to say, how come Doc Mac's not here? And then we were going to do our Doc Mac shout out. So I had to improvise because I was told we weren't here. And then when, and then when Doc's here, he pointed right at you, I go, Jesus, right there. So. I don't know, sir, what's it like to work for Doc, and uh, how can you tolerate it? I, I will say working for Doc is an honor, and uh, um, I, I feel like I'm uh, I'm really part of uh, his family, and uh, I wouldn't have it, uh, like, just, just everyone there. It feels like a big family, and it's, uh, it's amazing to work there. Um, to uh, be part of something as big as Galloping Ghost Arcade is uh, truly amazing, and uh, I thank God for that opportunity to be part of it.